Here we go. Main event time at Homecoming 2024. Flashing back to the very first ever Catch Factory Pro Wrestling event, Homecoming 2023. We saw these two fighters in our very first main event, one of which being this man, Marius Alani, making his way to the ring right now. I can't believe we're here. Finally, this match has been such a long time coming, and I am both over the moon excited and terrified for what is to come with these two men tonight. One year ago at Homecoming, Marius Alani faced Fast Time Mudo in the main event. It was a banger of a match ending in a rear naked chokeout. With that man right there, Marius Alani victorious over Fast Time Mudo. The man is a beast. Since then, we have gone an entire year's worth of events, including our championship tournament, which saw him facing off now once again with Leipzig's own Fast Time Muda. Mudo managed to turn around after that very first loss to Alani and have an undefeated year working his way through the championship tournament to have this moment. The people love him, I love him. Fast Time Mudo is back and ready to go. Leipzig's own, obviously, with the Leipzig local crowd behind him. Out to prove for his high match dot, for his hometown, that he can be their hometown hero and representative. But he's got a mountain to climb, and that mountain's name is Marius Alani. You know, no matter what happens with this match tonight, one way or another, Fastai Mudo is going to win because the people love him. Leipzig loves him. Yes, it has been a massive uh, year of acceptance on both sides as Mudo, uh, a known road warrior all over German professional wrestling, has really come to identify Leipzig's Catch Factory as his home. And I know that the Catch Factory is happy to have him. We love him. But in as much as we would love to just hang the mantle on somebody who's uh, one of our own hometown bred, you cannot discount anything from the amazing athleticism and competitorship that Mar Al Marius Alani brings to this ring. Einer dieser Männer wird heute der erste Catch Factory Champion. In der blauen Ringecke mit einer Körpergröße von 1,76 Meter, einem Kampfgewicht von 90 Kilogramm aus Erfurt, die Nummer 1, Mr. No Bullshit, Marius Al Ani! Look at the physique. The athleticism shines through. This is a man who is dedicated to the sport. Und in der roten Ecke sein Gegner mit einer Körpergröße von 1,80 Meter, ebenfalls 90 Kilogramm Kampfgewicht. Er steht für Kampfkunst. Aus Leipzig, Fast Time Mudo! A big part of the animosity that has grown between these two is Marius Alani is, by definition, a catcher. He is catch wrestling at its best and takes a little bit of umbrage to having to even contest this title against the Kampfkunstler, the, the fight artist that is Fast Time Mudo. There's a lot of rage between these men, especially for Marius Alani. We will get, we're going to see a showcase of two different fighting styles here. I imagine Alani is going to be looking for the technical wrestling, is going to be looking to go to the ground game, is going to be looking to repeat that submission from last year. Whereas Mudo, the high flyer, the, the Kampfkunstler, no telling how much energy he's going to bring to this fight. It's going to be big. Shoot of the leg there, but out of the way. Nice little playful start to this feeling each other out almost a knockout kick to the head there but checked by the left hand of Alani now into a collar elbow tie up both men jockeying for position but it's Alani with the headlock takeover here sent off to the ropes the shoulder block 
Ooh. not getting the arm drag to. Oh, leg strength on display. Almost followed up with that black belt kick, spinning black belt back heel kick. The focus, the intensity from both these men. Had the timing on that been correct and that shot connected, that could have been the end of this championship match. Back in the tie up again. Now we're seeing the technical wrestling from Al Ani as he takes the back. Headlock here, working for position. Mudo back to his feet. But first the wrist control and then back to the headlock. Sit off to the ropes, but eats the shoulder block, sending him down to his back. Denuma Ainz looking strong here on the ground game. Up and over by Mudo, big oh, hip toss. Beautiful. Big back oh. elbow to follow it from fast high Mudo and a big kick. This is that striking Kampfkun's prowess that we were talking about. Gorgeous. But here may be taking a little bit too long from the gloating stance. And a reversal, but he goes under, missing on the back elbow. Again, checked. A couple of shots here from Mudo. These rapid fire kicks into the leg sweep. Beautiful cover. Nope. Kick out at one. And Marius will take a minute to catch his breath on the outside. Mudo here. Easily moving to the outside. Not going to let Marius get the break, but he walks into a Ooh. kick here. And now Marius turning it around with some action on the outside. Oh. Our referee Igor out there to make sure, trying to get both men back into the ring, make sure there's no play outside. But... I, I have to say that, you know, we're probably not going to see an easy disqualification in this match, being that it's the championship match. Definitely not. These men are going to take their time inflicting pain on each other. And Igor's just going to let it happen. And I think our audience wants it to happen, too, because we want a winner. Oh, right into the chairs. Oh. I'm Matthew Hendershot, director of Catch Factory Pro Wrestling. In 2024, we're gonna bring you even more fights, even better events. And the best way that you can get involved is to support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash catchfactory. Ani here. Really enjoying Getting a it. little bit of gloat on then. Getting a little bit of gloat on. <laughs> That ring apron being driven straight into the small of Alani's back by Mudo there as we continue the action on the outside and now back into the ring. Mudo knows that that's where he has to be if he wants to win. Ooh, big kick to the stomach from Alani followed by a big shot and now this arm control up and hanging him up. Ooh. Yam bag central on the top rope there. Big ah. springboard lariat, getting a little extra momentum off of that rope push. And now into a cover. One, two. No. Oh, no way. There's no way Mudo is going to let this go this easy. I, you know, I flash back to an interview that was done. Uh, we did two separate interviews featuring Alani and Mudo, and they we could barely keep them apart, just having them in the same building. Ooh, big cravat. And the drop kick to the back of the head. Basement drop kick there, now a cover. Kick out from Mudo. It's been a long time rivalry between these two, and it's definitely coming to a head tonight. It's just built up over the year as both men continued to Aktuelle rack up wins. Marius Alani uh, got himself into a little bit of trouble from some negative behavior after a loss and ended up having to like talk his way in. If it wasn't for cover here by Mudo, if it wasn't for an insane decision made by Johnny Rancid to put his place in the championship tournament on the line, Marius Alani wasn't even in championship contention. Big exploder suplex there. 
by Al Ali. His attitude towards this situation has been clear with his near suspension. And so he's bringing it tonight. He has to. Barely held on to that. Marius claims that he is the number one when it comes to German catch wrestling. And honestly, from his past performance, that's hard to argue with. And for him to sit and be aware that Mudo, past his first match, has been undefeated. Interesting pinning combination here. But only a two count. Ooh. Big drop kick to Mudo. This could be it. Could oh, the this, cocky cover. No, no, no. No no shoulder control. No additional pressure. Counting the count himself. No surprise to see the kick out there. He's just, he's enjoying it. It's almost like he didn't really want to get the pin because he's just relishing the opportunity to beat on first time Mudo. Well, really acting like he's already won the match. A couple softening blows here in the corner as Al Ani works Mudo. Looks like an Irish whip into the opposite corner. Ooh. But he'll eat a back elbow trying to follow it up. Wasting no time, he gets back in there. That time, the spinning elbow connecting. Sent off the ropes. Big Ooh. lariat sends Mudo down, but back up quickly. The power of Marius Alani. I have stood across the ring uh, from Marius Alani multiple times throughout the past year, and he cuts an intimidating form. Big up and over here. Almost a GTS tile knee to the face. Interesting pin combination, but only gonna get two there as Al Ani is not yet finished. I may have run into Marius Al Ani backstage and told him honestly that I was intimidated by him, and he looked me dead in the and eye and said, handle. "Oh, into a quick roll up here, picking the ankle is Al Ani." Oh, what a kick! Lifting Mudo up and just kicked to the midsection there. Also looked like it could have been a little low. Ooh. We got a three no. count? No. Nope. But that time, remember to hook the arm. Better positioning on the leg. And I think that that's why that count lasted a little bit longer. Incredible physique here. Oof. And now just kicks to the back of the head. Lording over fast time Mudo here as Alani has the clear advantage. Pure disdain. Big shot to the face there. Not letting Mudo up off of the knee. Reeling it up for another one. Blocked. Caught that time. Not having it. Mudo with the fire. Big shot. And a second. Stopping the blows from Alani and unloading. Finding a new gear here. Press oh. slam. Beautiful body slam. Mudo pumping up. Going for that neck control. Double underhooks here. Butterfly blocked. Could have been looking for a pedigree there, oh. but up and over. Back body drop from Alani. Big slam. Oof. Each man here trying to find a clear advantage, but so far, pretty even. Again, Snapmare out of the corner, into the cover. One, two. No kick out from Mudo. And now Alani wants to talk with Igor about the count. There is no way Mudo is giving in that easy. Yeah, it's really going to take some serious shots or a serious uh, attempt at a submission to bring Mudo down here. For sure. He's just going to continue to fight. Trying to punch his way out of the corner here. Again, wrist control. Yanking down on that arm is Al-Ani. Reversal. Irish whip, but Al-Ani makes it into the corner. Position on the second rope. Looking for the elbow there. Doesn't get it. Big oh! back leg kick off the second rope from Mudo. Now both men down. Fantastic dodge on the shot from Al Ani, only to turn it around with that back heel kick. Again, the fighting arts that Mudo brings to professional wrestling. Uh, educated feet, educated hands. Truly an artist.
Oof, the Both exhaustion. Men looking for advantage here. Igor with the count, standing four count. Honestly going to be have to say that this is a slightly performative count here. There's no way that this match is going to end on a double count out. No chance. These guys are going to get both up to a vertical base. And just oh. big bulls going at each other. Nobody with the clear advantage. A second oh. lariat running into each other. Resetting. Ducks the lariat, does Mudo. And now the quick left jabs. Lefts and rights. Explosive shots. Sent off the cover, big oh. kick, and oh. another. Those roundhouse kicks are nasty, oh. and that beautiful spinning back heel Stunning. kick Stunning. sends Marius down. Now Mudo feeling it. Drinking it in. Got to get on him, though. The crowd and uh, uh, the cheers of the crowd and impressing the crowd is one thing, but winning this match is something entirely different. And that's where it'll cost you. Mudo cannot get cocky. Nice big knee strike there. Again, Marius to the outside. And the PK from the side of the ring. Oh! Cannonball dive as well. But now we have a problem. Marius Halani is down on the outside. Mudo looking like an advantage. But you can't win the match out here. Get him back in the ring. Throwing him in between the ropes. Looking for a position here. Setting him up. Measuring. Ooh. Big rolling back heel kick into the corner. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Diving forearm shot. And now Mudo headed up. Second rope all the way to the top rope. What do we got going on here? In position. Double stomp oh. to the back. Into the cover. One, two. Could this? And oh. a kick out. 2.5. Mudo can't believe it. I can't believe it. That was huge. Gotta keep going. Yeah, again here, taking the time to sort of assess the kick out instead of being right back up and on your opponent looking for the victory. But I think it has to do as well with the scale and scope of this event. This is the first ever championship match Oof. Looking for the kick there, but caught. Wrapping up the leg into a roll-up. Small package style. Again, technical prowess. Double arms, hook, butterfly, backslide. Again, Whoa. hooking the leg into a crucifix pin, but a kick out at two by Mudo. Oh. European uppercut sends Mudo into the corner. Misses a shot of his own. Oh! What a suplex. Could this be it? No! That was a bit of a belly-to-back side suplex. Incredible throw by Marius Alani. Stunning. And now we see the role reversal. We have Mudo down on his back, but Alani taking his time. He's got to get on it. I think both men know that their competitor has more gas left in the tank. And that's why we're not going for these quick covers and quick pins. I think they know that the fight is still on. They're really going to push each other to their limits but and they're going to enjoy it. it. Here. it up, powerbomb position. Mudo nope. drops down, double hook. Oh, Marius slips out. Oh, uh, blocking the kick. Oh, uh, duck kick, what? but that one's going to catch him right in the back of the head. Mudo now underhooks and Got it. pedigree. Got it. Pedigree from Fast Could Time. Could this uh, be it? Whoa. Oh. oh. Unbelievable. I don't I believe don't, it. That, I, clearly, what? Igor's angle on that was not the angle that I got to see because from where I sat, that looked like three. Aktuelle Kampfzeit, 15 Minuten. 15 minutes into this championship match and Mudo here looking strong as Al-Ani down on his knees and now we're going to see some kicks. 15 minutes of madness. Yes, one might say. And another, that time caught by Al-Ani back on his feet, working the knee. European uppercut as well. Mudo fighting back, but he's going to eat another forearm shot there. 
These forearm blows. Now a kick from Alani. And a big European uppercut. Really enjoying it. Mudo fighting back up to standing. Repeated shots to the face. Spinning back fist. Knee strike. Great check, Ooh. but into a schoolboy roll up. Whoa. Boom! What a bounce. A kip up kick from Marius Alani. Caught Mudo on the jaw. Double oh. springboard into a lariat, dropping Mudo down, but took enough out of himself too. Can't get over to the cover. That delay. One, two. Oh, oh. and a weak kick out there from Mudo. He managed to make it out of the three count, but there was not much behind that. The exhaustion is palpable. The energy both these men have been bringing to this fight is clear. Oof. I do not envy either of them. We have seen Mudo throughout the course of this past year snatch victories from bigger men, men with longer reach. Uh, he has just put on a year's worth of fantastic fighting. Ooh. Up into suplex position, but Mudo will slip out. Checks the blow there. Another kick. Ducks the roundhouse, throwing a roundhouse of his own. Spinning back heel kick. Now the pump handle slam. Oh! Boom! Spike Could this be? Oh! And another near fall. I'll say it again. Unbelievable. Yeah, Mudo now looking to the outside. Can't quite believe that that was only a two count. Asking himself what he's going to do now and what is it going to take to bring this fight to a close in his favor. Audience waking up, getting behind the hometown hero Mudo here. Precarious position. Where is fast time Mudo going? That's a long way there from that side of the ring. No way. No way. Coast to coast. Oh! Big coast to coast drop kick. Getting, getting it, getting it. No. Oh! I again. What? Not done. Tuning up the band is fast time Mudo. We know he's got that black belt hill kick in his wheelhouse. This could be it. Positioning's right. Rolling kick Ooh. and he hits it. Gorgeous. But Alani. Goes to the outside. Can't get a three count on the outside. Got to get up. Got to get him back into the ring. Sneaking out, buying himself some time. Veteran instincts from Alani there. Catching his breath. Mudo might be content here just to let Alani get counted out. Count is up to three. Where are you going, Mudo? Off he goes, following him out of the ring. Determination on his face. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, but you invite all sorts of trouble out here. The rules are more lax on the outside of the ring. You're not wrong. Oh, Ooh. and paid for it right there. Low blow, ringing the bells on Fast Time Mudo. You have to wonder if that was Marius Alani's plan the whole time. Get him out, take him down. Had he done that in the ring, that would have been surely a qualification, but because the focus from Igor was on the count out, I think that the low blow was missed. Oof. A dirty move by Alani. Oh, shots like that just, just they have repercussions all the way up your abdomen, into your, into your diaphragm. It just oh. does not feel good, let me Brutal. tell you. Brutal. Brutal. Where is Mudo? Mudo still down Aktuelle on the ground. 20 minutes. 20 minutes now into this championship oh. match and the standing count up to eight. He's cutting it fine. He's got to get back in before. Oh, oh. he just barely oh, makes God. it. Igor waves off the count and this fight continues. Alani jumping on the opportunity there, raining down blows. Big oh. spinning heel kick of his own. And now arm locks. This could be. Oh. But out of bounds. Got that rope. 
Again, nothing behind that, but just desperation move to get his hands on out of bounds and on those ropes. Oof. Shots to the back. Marius working him back in. Now nasty hanging choke. Reverse that into a guillotine. This applies pressure on the carotid artery and your esophagus. It hurts your breathing, hurts your blood flow. Big oh! sheer drop, brain buster. That could be the end of this. this. Mudo looks like he's out. Surely. Two. Surely. Kick no! out by Mudo. He's not done. Unbelievable. Barely hanging on, but hanging on enough to kick out. Marius picking Ooh. up the ankle here. Another Ooh. submission hold. This ankle lock can be enough. You can break Ooh. an ankle. So nasty. Kicks to the back of the shoulder and the head to reinforce that angle. Of course, lifting the leg up. Oh, careful Ooh. there. Could almost looked like a tap from Mudo. Reaching for that be. rope. Not Mudo. Got to get that rope. Man, those ankle yeah. locks. Yes. Those ankle locks are so hard to get out of. There's really so. only the rope break or a roll oh. through such as that one. That rollover moving Alani to the outside, but back in and back to the ankle. Not wasting any time. Trying to twist that up, but the pop-up. Oh, oh. Sensei choke here. This is a triangle choke, front side down. The arm positioning across the neck. Oh, but hammer blows. Just hammer oh. fisting down. Great MMA background from Marius Alani shining through in this professional wrestling match. It's it's gross. And now calling for that Superman punch he likes to employ. Big oh. Superman punch caught him, but stayed on a knee. Did not go all the way down. Slapping the hand away oh. and a spinning oh. back heel kick again. Get him down. And back into the triangle. Slintsay choke here. Got to keep him down. This time arm position better. Blows to the head. Elbow to the top of the head. Cutting off the, the flow of air and blood. Checking the wrist here. That's it. He's calling it. This no. match is over. What? You have a champion. Fast time Mudo is your champion. Mario Salani is out. No. Th That's the I end of this it. match. Igor has He's called it and we have our champion. Ziga und damit der erste catch. Factory Pro Wrestling Champion, Fast Time Mudo! Good God. Peace, I've got good bumps God. on my arms. Flashing back to one year ago, it was the rear naked choke from Marius Alani that choked Mudo out in the center of that ring. And now here, one year later for the championship, we see the mirror opposite, the Sensei choke choking out Alani, giving Fast Time Mudo this incredible victory. I, oh, I, I'm, I'm speechless. Alani's still coming, to, coming together. Doesn't know where he's at, but has to be coming to and hearing Mudo's music, which can for him mean only one thing, that the battle to be champion starts again. There that, it is. Ugh. The title being passed to the first ever to hold it. Champion, fast time, Mudo! Your Catch Factory champion, fast time, Mudo. Leipzig's own gets it done here for the Catch Factory. The smile on his face says it all. The emotion is clear. As what a moment. He is going to carry that trophy into Wrestling Revolution and face none other than the legend Leon Von Gasteren, who we saw win earlier in the night. What a match that will be. But for now, Fast Time Mudo enjoying his win, rightfully so. Marius Arani, nowhere to be seen. You have to think, too, that turning that around and winning in submission style with that sensei choke had to feel good for Mudo. Showing that what happened last year was not the rule, but the exception. Really drinking it in. 
so deserved. What a match between Fast Time Mudo and Marius Al Ani. What a match. What a brutal match. Fantastic performance from both men who gave it their all, but when it comes down to it, that man, Fast Time Mudo, had what it took on this day to become the first ever Catch Factory champion. <laughs> Whew.